hello friend this is open and welcome to my channel learn SAP ABAP so in this video I am going to show you how to create the ABAP CDSU on HANA okay for that purpose you just need to have an Eclipse on your machine okay I have written the same article on my website also so you may check later on the link is also given in the description okay here I have given the, the all these steps to create the CDSU in HANA the step by step procedure with the screenshot okay so you may also check it out in a later on okay so let's uh, go back to the go back to our video but wait the if you still didn't subscribe to my channel then please uh, subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for my upcoming video okay so let's start okay uh so friend let's start uh now i'm in my eclipse uh okay so what first you need to do is so what we are going to do is uh, we are now just creating a simple cds view okay so for that uh, i will explain you the steps what are the steps you need to follow in order to create one simple cds view. okay so let's start first of all you just need to select your package okay just right click on your package uh, it will ask new and you have to select the other repository object okay in the other repository object then uh, just type here ddl and you just need to select the ddl source and just click on the next then you need to go on the name for your uh, data uh, data uh, cds view uh, so you can give it as uh, cds underscore text simple okay and i'm doing simple cds view okay and just click on the next and then uh, i'm just selecting the local uh, local package so there so that for that over oh, we don't need for any transport request just simply click on the next select the defined view is the select the option as per your choice so now we are just selecting creating the simple cds view so we just need to select the defined view uh, and then click on the finish okay so now as you can see here uh, we have uh, some three fields uh, once here as you can see define view uh, as a select from data shows name data shows name is nothing but the table from we are going to access the field okay so here we are going to provide the table name and here you can see at the bottom at the top you can see SQL view name. So SQL view name we have to pass uh, as from like the name or uh, the from the SQL view is nothing but the name of the view which will be created in the uh, in your SAP SAP systems. Okay, which you, you can access from the SE eleven in the SAP. So we are giving the name as the Z uh, Z CDS view. View CDS V underscore test underscore as simple. Okay. 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 So now here, as you can see, uh, simple. And as you can see here, it's a data source name. Okay. So we are going to access the data from SN one table. So SN and so I will show you I will first of all show you the table so let's go to the SAP and SNWD underscore PD okay this is the table and from this table we are going to access the three field in order to create a simple CDS view okay so let's go back to the Eclipse uh, okay so SNWD underscore PD is the name of the table and from this table as i told you earlier we are going to access the three fields so we are going to access these three fields product type product type as a category okay so just copy product type then type code and then category okay down just make the alignment Okay, so now we have let me let's uh ch first check for any kind of syntax error or not. Okay, no syntax error and just activate okay. So now we have activated this in this view. Okay, so you can as a see bottom activation was successful. Now we are going to test uh, 
this CDS view. Uh, let's run. If I will run, select the map, click on the OK. Okay, so as you can see here, I selected here with like a product type and code category. Okay, so for that, for, so currently we don't have any data in this system, as you can see here. So that is, you can see here. So that is the reason we don't have any entries here, entries from this table. Here from this table. So yes, this table for this CDS view. Okay, so this, okay. So you can see this oh, as we have this three field over here, and you can see this three product ID related category. Okay, so now let's take an example. We have to just change. We have to give this some heading for this particular field. So what you can do, you can type as a as a product. Okay, as a type code, you can type as a code and category as a as a. Yeah, we will keep it as the same as a category okay so again i will just uh, again i will just check activate and if i will run this queue as you can see the name has changed okay product code and category okay earlier it was product id type code and category okay so we have changed the name of the code okay so now let's again go back to our thing okay now as i have already told you we have created the view with this name okay so let's go back to the sap system and check whether the view has created or not just copy this name from here to okay, the sap and see 11 thing here click on the display and you can see the view has been created here okay product id code category on this table so the key fields okay this is the table okay. so, so this is the view has created from this using this cds using this cds view okay and let's suppose now you have to access the all the field from this table okay so in that case what you need to do is we just need to get simply start. okay so what you need to type we just need to type star okay you just need to type star then just click on the check so you can then activate okay now we activate and we will run this cds view okay so now you can see all the field from this table here product product type type code category see in this created cds view also we will just refresh the cds view okay now you can see the all the field is there this is all the fields so, so this is the easiest way to create the cds view so uh, this was all about to create the simple cds view in hasapi hana okay so in the next tutorial we will see how to create the cds view with the inner join okay uh, if you like this video then please press the like button below if you have any doubt then please write me in the comment section below and if you want to learn more about sapi app then please visit my website which is www.sapiabab.com please first subscribe to my channel to get the notification about my next video so bye signing out